Now we have two variables on both sides. Still pretty straightforward. Let's move all the numbers to the right hand side and all the unknown variables to the left hand side. So let's firstly move this one to the right hand side by uh, subtracting one from both sides. So 4x plus one minus one will equal x plus 10 minus one. These will cancel out and 10 minus one would be nine. So we would then have four X equals X plus nine. Let's now subtract X from both sides. Four X minus X would be four X minus X, which equals X minus X plus nine. This would cancel out and four X minus X would be three X, which equals nine. Let's divide both sides by three. Therefore, x would equal 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Here we have lots of unknown variables and brackets. So we need to expand the brackets and then rearrange. So let's firstly expand this first part. 2 times 5y is 10y. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 2y. And on the right hand side, we're going to do 3 times 2y, which is 6y. And 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we have this seven here. We can now clean up the left side and right hand side by looking at what are all the common parts that we can now uh, simplify. So 10y minus 2y is 8y and we have this four. And on the right hand side, we have a 6y by itself and we have a nine plus a seven. So that's gonna be 16. Let's now subtract 6y from both sides. So 8y minus 6y is going to be 2y plus 4, which equals 16. And now let's subtract 4 from both sides, eliminating this 4 on the left-hand side. Minusing 4 from here would mean, mean it would disappear. And 16 minus 4 would be 12. So 2y would equal 12. Let's divide both sides by 2. This eliminates the 2. And therefore, y would equal 6.